Welcome back to the Ninth Gym program, and today we are playing some more games, and today we've got this Lapras team that I like a lot. Uh, it's very, very close to what I showed off the first week, I believe, of the Series 6, you know, announcement. So, um, you know, it's it's the team that I made a, like a week ago, <laughs> is pretty much what I'm saying. And, uh, it, you know, it has a couple of changes. Some people in the comment section were very nice and, uh, you know, gave me their input, and that's kind of like a big piece of the reasons why I put out those videos. So, you know, use the comment section like a chat so we can talk about the teams and talk about things. Um, anyway, you know, Encore VGC, shout outs to Encore VGC, um, changing, making a couple of little tweaks and giving me some ideas. And uh, yeah, I've taken a bunch of those into consideration. So yeah, this rental code will be down in the description below as well as the paste if you want to just play it on Showdown or at least just look at it. Either way, all of that information is available to you and let's get into some games. I had pretty bad um, Wi-Fi today and earlier, um, so yeah, hopefully we don't just disconnect every game, but maybe we will. So we'll see. Anyway, let's get into some games. All right, so we're in it. So we've got uh, up against us, we have a Colossal team. It also has PZ on the team. Corviknight, Amoongus, Weavile for that setup, and then Urshifu in the back. If I had to guess, I would say it's probably the water version, in which case he can Aqua Jet as well as Surf. But either way, we will be outspeeding everything. Um, actually, you know what? If he goes with the Aqua Jet, then we won't be outspeeding it. So... I was going to say we just Tailwind and nothing is awry, but might be difficult, actually. Having that Urshifu um, could be could make it definitely a little difficult. Makes me kind of not even want to go for a Lapras game. My game plan here is pretty simple, usually. It's just max Lapras and set up one of two forms of speed control, whether it's Trick Room or Tailwind. And it's not really going to work as smoothly as we want it to. Uh, I still think I'm going to go for Dusclops Lapras here. I don't think there's any better thing there for me to do. Sylveon in the back deal with Urshifu as well as doing really good damage to things like the, P2, the PZ and stuff like that. Also stop that spore, um, that pesky spore. I kind of want to set up here um, like a Talonflame in the back as well. But that doesn't actually make sense. We're going to bring Conkledur, I think. Um, Conkledur does the best against everything. I can't remember if I have Ice Punch or Thunder Punch. If it's Thunder Punch, then sweet, we'd take down Corviknight like that. But if not, then we might have to do it in a weird way with Thunderbolt late game with Lapras. Or just max it, like, early if we see Corviknight early. And, uh, yeah. I, wa I want to get a max Lightning down anyway, even if it's not on Corviknight, just for that, um, the threat of Amoongus. But we'll see how it goes. So, he leads Urshifu and Weavile, which is pretty interesting. Not having that Surf... Um, turn zero, so I actually do want to just go ahead and set Trick Room. Uh, I think that's definitely a good option. Now, we've all could definitely have Taunt, which would stop my uh, Trick Room setup, which would be really annoying, but I still think it's worth to just uh, scope that out and do that now. Uh, I could also go for a Lightning into Urshifu, as neither of these, um, the Resonance does much for us, but I still think it's like needed to set this up right now, and I think it's okay if we just like break the potential sash here I think that's what we're gonna go for trick room and break the sash if it um you know we'll see trick room might be bad maybe I should have gone for a switch I think we might get taunted um that could be bad we could also actually wait we've all could could does we feel have trick he could trick my G Max boy and then uh aqua jet that would be bad we lose our G Max We'd get trick, ro trick Room up, though, which, honestly, it wouldn't be the worst situation to ever happen. Because then we could switch into Sylveon, and then it could be good. Um, we do run into Taunt, though, as I was kind of expecting. I kind of sh was thinking to switch out. Probably would have been a good, op uh, good option. This is going to do a lot of damage here, and now we won't be able to set Trick Room up. And its defenses fall, but I'm fairly certain I would say that's probably banned. So we Or Focus Sash, so we won't even kill it anyway. Um, we didn't even get close to killing it anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's bad. We can definitely Nightshade into it next turn. I think that'll kill. Nightshade plus Max Guard probably is a good option here. Um, yeah, we can't do that, so we'll go for a Nightshade. I think that's definitely our best option. Um, we do 
waste a turn of Dynamax here, but I think that's probably okay as long as we can get Thunderbolt up next turn so that even if we then if we set up, uh, you know, Trick Room within a turn or two, we'll be okay for that Amoongus matchup. We see an Icy Wind, which is pretty okay. You know, I don't care about you lowering my speed on either of the Pokemon right now. Um, you know, not hitting Lapras anyway because I max guarded, but still. Close combat, going to get eaten up by that max guard, and Nightshade should take it out. I believe it's, you know, in range. Okay, well, that sucked. <laughs> okay, well, that sucked a lot. There's nothing I can do about that. I kind of just have to switch out now. We're going to Nightshade, and we're going to switch into... I mean, either of these will take that attack pretty safely, but... I don't know what's best here. I think Sylveon is probably best. Like I was saying, I do kind of want to preserve my Lapras for that Thunderbolt late game against Corviknight, because otherwise we're probably going to lose to Corviknight. I mean, look at what I brought. The other Pokemon that I brought do nothing against Corviknight. So, but I mean, Nightshade is good if it's a setup Corviknight. Icy Wind, once again, I'm not too worried about lowering speed. So the close combat that's targeting down my Sylveon is not going to do much damage anyway. And Dusclops will just finish it off. Now, it could have protected this turn, but it didn't protect, as we already saw. And uh, I'm starting to think it might be choiced in. Um, might be locked into using that close combat. That miss, or, or the uh, 1 HP, was very, very unfortunate for our Nightshade. So, yeah. We're still taunted. Uh, this is going to be our last turn for taunt, but we will get, um, you know, taunted again, most likely. Unless he brings in uh, the uh, guy now, <laughs> which he probably will. And then he could go for a Surf. If this is Colossal, it is Colossal. Okay. So he wanted he wanted the late game Volcalith, which I can I can respect. I can understand that. So we can go for a Trick Room this turn, um, or Haze. I think Haze is probably what we're gonna go with here. Haze and Protect. I think that's a really good option, actually. And you know what? I'm kind of an idiot for not attacking turn one with Thunderbolt into the Urshifu. I think that would have been uh, made for a much, much more in our favor game. But oh well. Not the end of the world. Uh, what did I say I was doing with Dusclops? Haze? Uh, yeah, we're going to go for a Haze because if we get taunted, it's okay. And we could go for Protect. I think I just want to fire off a Hyper Voice though. Because Sylveon at this point, you know, it was mostly there. All right, so we see a Protect on that, which is fine. I think he's just going to go for a Taunt and, uh, yeah, Taunt into the Dusclops. Makes a lot of sense. Hayes was not going to end up getting us there. That's okay. Hyper Voice now uh, takes you down to your Sash if you're Sashed. No Sash. Okay. So no Surf this game. Uh, and Aqua Jet's gone as well. So what does he have for his Colossal? Let's see. He does have the Corviknight in the back, which is kind of a, uh, you know, kind of a menace. Uh, a little bit menacing here. We could bring in Conkledur. Conkledur, I think, is good here. We switch into Conkledur because I don't think he's going to attack Dusclops. I, I would foresee it attacking my Sylveon. It could be a max Corviknight game since uh, he does, it didn't get the Surf or, you know, anything else up. <laughs> So I could definitely see it being a max Corviknight game, in which case this Mystical Fire will do a lot of work, but what if it's randomly weakness policy, actually? That would be crazy. Still doesn't opt to Dynamax, which I think is pretty crazy, but okay. He goes for a bulk up, which I'm not really worried about because that's only attack and defense, not, um, you know, special defense. So we're going to get a lot of damage here. Conkleder nar narrowly misses here or avoids. Sylveon doesn't take much damage here either. Mystical Fire is going to do a chunk. Pretty big. Not as much as I was hoping, but, you know, we'll still take that. And now we'll have to switch out um, or else we're going to do be doing very minuscule damage. But I'm okay with that as well. Actually, I think Drain Punch here is probably a good bet. And we're going to just switch into Dusclops and get up our Trick Room, I think. Because... That would make a lot of sense. Also, we get Haze then as well, um, which is pretty good. So we'll go for a Drain Punch. I like this play. I think that's good. Drain Punch the Colossal. Colossal should go down um, because we're Guts Boosted as well, which is really, really strong. Switch into Dusclops. He doesn't max once again. Actually, he could still max. He does max. I I'm assuming it's Corviknight at this point. Maybe we'll see a max Steel Spike into our Sylveon slot. 
which would maybe do about 50% or more because of the bulk up. So we'll see how much damage this does. I really hope it's not like a ridiculous amount of damage. Let's just hope. <laughs> we see Airstream actually, which is interesting. Oh, into the Conkle there. That was the better move. <laughs> that was the much better move. Uh, yeah, that sucked a lot. We should have detected this turn. That would have been the better play. But oh well. Can't change the past. Let's see what else we can do here. Heat Wave, not going to do much damage either. Like, well, we're not really worried about the, the Colossal's damage from Heat Wave. Now, what do I want? Lapras should outspeed both because of the speed investment. Sylveon should outspeed pretty well as well. Um, we knew out Sylveon outsped both. I think it's Lapras time. I think we'll bring in Lapras. Sylveon will, cl uh, will close the game. Because Colossal doesn't really have anything. I mean, it can Meteor Beam. But, like, that takes two turns. So, I'm not too worried. I think Thunderbolting you is the best. Because I think we can probably close this with uh, Dusclops. Go for Haze. We're faster with everything else at this point. So, I think Haze is just optional. Uh, just optimal. Hmm. Or should we start doing damage all right we're gonna pain split um so thunderbolt into the corviknight i don't think it'll take it out because it is pretty strong oh i'm an idiot it max air streamed so it's fast now i should have just trick roomed that would have been optimal oh i'm so dumb or we should have hazed that was really bad i went for pain split that's so dumb lapras avoids which is good I don't want any more tick damage, and Dusclops eats that up and then Pain Splits back, so that's going to be really good. Thunderbolt does a big chunk. I'm going to leave it. Oh, we hit the Para. That was too good. <laughs> Pain Split does a lot here. Oh, man. Dusclops, you are doing a lot more than I was expecting you to. This is really strong here. I think we're going to just start Nightshading down the Colossal. Because I'm not too worried about his damage. I don't think Heat Wave will take out my Lapras. So, yeah, I'm pretty set with that. Heat Wave actually does take down Lapras. That's dumb. But Full Para says, alright, we're cooling. Nightshade, gonna do a chunk. Uh, is that enough to two-shot? I believe it is. Um, but you know what? I thought, Night I kn I thought Nightshade would have taken it out last time, so... I will see. I think Sylveon Mystical Fire into the Corviknight is our win con now, and I think we take it out um, with this attack, but I might be wrong. I don't think he can take. I, I don't think he can deal with Dusclops at this point. We probably should have said hey, uh, Trick Room, but it's okay. Heat Wave is not going to do much damage. I mean, we saw it's Sylveon its damage into Sylveon earlier, and it, it was nothing. Mystical Fire takes the knockout. Yes, it does. Nightshade takes the knockout this turn or next turn. Either way. I think we're in the clear. Heat Wave won't be able to take either knockout next turn unless he crits. Nightshade left with 1 HP again. This time it's actually like 4 HP. Still unbelievably low. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to fire off a Moon Blast here. And Nightshade it up. I mean, we could go for a Protect on Sylveon. I don't think it matters though. Because that would just make it do single targeting damage. And then with a crit, it might actually knock out Dusclops. He hits the burn on Sylveon, which would have mattered if, you know, this wasn't over. That was a good game, though. So, I think Colossal's really strong. I think if he would have led it, it would have been better. But maybe, you know, like, the Talonflame Lapras would have been better against that. Um, so, like, you know, expect I wasn't expecting Urshifu with Weavile lead. It was a it was a strange lead. And then getting the call with the, like a bunch of damage on the Weavile or killing the Weavile before it could surf was big. Yeah, it was a good game. Uh let's play again. All right, so we're playing another game here um against Aaron Cybertron Zang. Not actually, but it is a similar team to what he started off last series with with the Cobalion and stuff. Um we got a lot of threats on his team actually. And while that was a fast 
They instantly set that up. Okay, so what beats this? Um, Salazzle beat up is really strong against our team. You know, Lapras does minis minimize a bit of damage, but the Cabalion is going to be very, very strong against us regardless. I think setting up Trick Room is pretty meaningful here, but at the same time, Spore is really good, so we kind of have to lead Lapras here. And uh, yeah, into his beat up strats, it's pretty scary, I'm not going to lie. I think Talonflame works really well for that, um, you know, going for Tailwind. But if he sets up Trick Room, if he goes for the Trick Room route, then it's kind of scary. Um, although, I think doubling into Dusclops, we might be able to take it out. So I'm just going to go for it. We're going to go for that. Now, in case he does bring, uh, you know, that Conkledur is really strong here against Cabalion. Actually, against everything, just about. So, yeah, I'm definitely bringing Conkle there. And for the, our last spot, I'm thinking Sylveon. But if, like, his Cabalion just wipes us, then I kind of need something to deal with that. And Ferrothorn Body Press does a lot of damage. So I think that's what we're going to run with. Uh, I know it's kind of weird bringing this much, uh, you know, Tailwind speed. And then in the back, bringing Conkle there, which is actually um, EV'd out to be really good under Tailwind. Um, it hits 151 or 152 speed. Well, I think, I believe 152 to outspeed Duralanon. Um, so we'll see. That doesn't really come into effect here, though, because Cobalion is not Duraladon. So we do see Salazzle Cobalion, exactly what I was expecting. It's going to be a turn one Dynamax from him. Um, yeah, not good. That's not great. But we do see beat up, you know. Um, so we could, like, max. And go for that. That could be good. We could Tailwind and go for it like that. Um, you know, it's most likely Assault Vest. And we can't take out the Cobalion. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to Resonance into the Salazzle. Breaking its Sash and then also setting up with a Tailwind. I think that's all we can really do here. Um, yeah. Do I want to attack into you? Uh, you don't do anything after the first damage. Cobalion just is not going to care about this damage though. So we're going to set it up. Lapras might... Well, like, Lapras is probably going to faint. I mean, plus four Cabalion, even through Aurora Veil, is going to be doing so much damage. It's just... Uh, I mean... I don't know. I don't really have anything for beat-up strats. I don't have any form of redirection on this team, you know, and uh, no fake-out either. So, yeah, it's pretty rough. Uh, those are both things that you should probably have going into this format, but whatever. So we do see a fake out, which, um, you know, that's fine. That makes sense. Uh, yeah. Stone Edge here. Gonna, all right. So he just opts to take down Talonflame. That makes a lot of sense. Talonflame is really strong and stopping our speed control here is really strong. I didn't bring Trick Room in the back um, because then, you know, yeah. So we take down Salazzle um, or take it down very, very low at, at the very least. And then we'll bring Mach Punch here as well. So Conqueror will just take out Salazzle, and we won't have to worry about beat up, which makes Col or the Cabalion, you know, not that big of a worry um, in general, which is good. Now Conqueror Mach Punch has to take this out. It might not. Like, we might not actually take it out, which would suck a lot. But oh well. That's what we have to do. Sometimes you gotta make some, take some risks. Head into Cabalion. I think Mach Punch will take it out, but there's a chance it doesn't. But I'm taking the chance. I know it's it's resisted, but it's Mach Punch from Conkleder. So it shouldn't live. It's, it's Salazzle. It's very, very frail. We're not going to take it out. We're not going to take it out, and it's going to kill me, and he's going to steamroll me with Cabalion. Mark my words, Markiplier. Mark them down. Cabalion's big. Cabalion is very strong. Mach Punch is not going to take it out. Come on, man. You can do this. Should we? Yeah. All right. So we should have gone for Max um, Geyser turn one with Tailwind. Would have been optimal. Also, if we had Protect, that would have been optimal as well. We didn't have Protect. We don't have pr Protect on my Talonflame. And that's one thing that I'm probably going to change. But for now, it doesn't matter because we can't change that mid-game. Um, it's dead anyway. It's a dead bird anyway. This is such a long cutscene. It's ridiculous. Cabalion is very annoying. So Max Rockfall comes in. It's gonna. It's just gonna knock out the, the Lapras. We live actually pretty safely. It only, it does about sixty percent, which isn't that bad. The Sandstorm here doesn't really do much. Geyser is not gonna do that much here. 
um, because you know it's probably a sword fest. Yeah, that was from Life Orb Max a uh, Max Special Attacking Lapras. So yeah, Cabalion does a lot. <laughs> Cabalion's very good. Um, Conqueror is very strong now, and we'll be able to we'll go for a Max Guard, and we'll attack into Cabalion. But there's also the chance that Cabalion says, uh, like Cabalion just attacks Conqueror. They call my Max Guard out. I think we're gonna Geyser here. We'll at least put it into uh, Mach Punch range for next turn, and we'll just we're gonna just double. Now if he guards. Then whatever. Salazzle didn't do that much. And it's whatever. Heat Wave, there's no guard. So yeah. Conqueror takes a little bit of damage. He rock falls, he acts uh he acts on the Lapras, which makes sense. You know, take away the last max turn. It's fine. Drain Punch should do a huge chunk here. I know that its uh defense is very, very solid, but you know, it just max rock falled twice. It didn't steal spike. So we're still doing a lot, a lot of damage, which is good. Drain punch. Puts it in mock punch range. So we're going to mock punch next turn. Um, now it is kind of like sketchy to do that. But Salazzle isn't going to be doing much uh, to conquer there anyway. And if we mock punch into Salazzle. Like it would it would faint to the uh, to the sandstorm damage at the end of the turn anyway. So I'm, I'm not too mad at it. Alright we bring in Ferrothorn now. We are down to our last two Pokemon. He didn't have any Intimidate on his team though. Um, which would suck really bad. If he just switched into Arcanine right now. Like yeah it would be really bad. I don't know what he has. I don't think, not getting the, we might just lose the Spore, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, Alright, so we're going to Body Press into Salazzle. There's no point in doing any, what what hits 100 time? All of them hit 100. We'll knock off the Salazzle, catch the Switch in if, if there's any Switch in, but we're going to Mach Punch into the Gabalion. I think this is the best chance we have. Mach Punch, Gabalion actually doesn't Max Guard or Switch, which is interesting. You would think it would, right? But, like, at the same time, Salazzle's not doing much anyway, so it's whatever. Knockoff does give a little bit of value, uh, like, information here. Ah, uh, the wrong one missed. Okay. Uh, but Ferrothorn takes it like a champ because of the Assault Vest. Knockoff's gonna knock it out, which is really good. So now we're 2v2ing. But both of my Pokemon are incredibly slow. So that's kind of bad. But I did set up this uh, Amoongus to be able to, like, not Amoongus. I did set this Ferrothorn up to be able to have a pretty good matchup with Amoongus, even if Trick Room is not set. So that's, you know, a good, a good option we have here. Just Iron Heading in. Um, or wait, no, I changed it. I changed Iron Head. So yeah, never mind. But Knock Off is really good. Knock Off, it's Berry, which makes a lot of sense here to do. So it's good. See his last two Pokemon? It is Amoongus and... Actually, Amoongus sucks so bad. It's Rotom. Okay, Amoongus and Rotom. So that makes it pretty good for him if he has, like, Nasty Plot Rotom. Because uh, we'll attack into that. But we have Ice Punch into Amoongus. Now, it could be Yachi Berry. In which case, that would kind of suck. But I don't think it's going to be Yachi Berry. I think we're just going to take it out. Okay, so he goes for Nasty Plot, but no redirection, which is really interesting. So what's his Amoongus going to do? It can't spore either of my Pokemon. Ice Punch will do a chunk. Almost over. Almost got him. I'm burned, and I have a Grass-type Pokemon, sir. Takes out Rotom. All right, that's GG. Amoongus can do nothing now. What can Amoongus do? Energy Ball? You can do, like, 0.2 damage every turn? I think it dies to Sandstorm damage next turn. Not two turns. Still. Nothing you can really do. Aurora Fail came in clutch with uh, letting Lapras live, I think. Yeah, we're just going to take it down now. Um, you know, there's no point in doing anything else. I mean, it's going to protect this turn, but then, you know, fall to the Sandstorm damage the next turn. So it, didn't, it wouldn't matter. Although I think Sandstorm went away that turn. Anyway, it is, it's over. It doesn't matter. Anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the Patreon, support, or support the Patreon, join the Discord, and follow me on Twitter. Do all those things. That's like six things now. I added one to the list, the Patreon. Um, so yeah, do all of those things. Rental codes in the description below, as well as the, the, uh, PokePay. So, you know, either way, it, whatever you want to do with the team, if you want to check out the team, boom, description. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good weekend. Even though the week just started. Have a good week. Have a good month. Goodbye.